All right, guys, so Iron Banner is back this week, and I decided to pick up a lot of different Season 1 weapons and masterwork them all. So you're going to be seeing some videos from me that are going to be pertaining to the new Season rewards that you've probably already seen, uh, but they're also going to be pertaining to some of the old, because I like to dig up in the past, see what we got that was, was past rewards that you can still receive, and see if they can actually be... Uh, masterwork to become better weapons now I know these masterworks are not just a game changer they're not something that I want the end all say all for our uh, mod system and they've delayed mod 2.0 for quite some time now and hopefully we're gonna be looking at a better system but for the time being let's talk about the steady hand which is a 110 round per minute hand cannon and how it's doing as a masterworked hand cannon so to start off with guys I am rocking this with a plus 10 handling mod uh, this is a 110 round per minute hand cannon so you know that the handling for most of these hand cannons is extremely slow which is not something that's 80 these hand cannons as they themselves all over the place is really slow they have a good time to kill if you can land crits but the, the, the sad part is it's not necessarily easy to land three crits in a row uh, especially here on console now perk wise guys I'm gonna just touch on this I know a lot of you already know this but it comes to outlaw which is really good uh, and PvE and PvP it's also got flare and magwell which is what I like to keep mine on true sight and intrinsically guys you're looking at the aggressive frame high damage high recoil now overall how does this weapon stack against the other one tenths the steady hand is probably my favorite up there with, with probably bad news I even like this more than criminals dagger which is the season 2 hand cannon that I saw some people using I just cannot get that one under control for me that hand cannon I'm just not feeling it in PvP uh, at least on the console side now steady hand whether it's because it's essentially the same design as a better devils or, or it just the recoil is not the the hockey style recoil and, and again it's it get, it's more favor toward that better devils recoil uh, despite it being an intrinsically aggressive frame I find this hand cannon to be a lot more manageable now with the handling it does make the weapon snappier it makes it uh, much more fluid in and out of your sights making the, the possibility of coming in and out of cover a lot more easier and a lot more manageable than what you're used to uh, with some of your other one tenths but overall this hand cannon has a lot of heat against it there is just not a lot helping these 110s out in the current meta of crucible so in terms of if you have 10 cores to devote to a a season one iron banner weapon i don't think steady hand would be the one i would devote it to as much as i like this hand cannon and i'm playing it i i more or less used it as a secondary weapon uh, versus a primary I honestly played off of my stochastic variable more and then use steady hand to either clean up or pick up enemies that were just kind of peeking around cover uh, versus using it as the more aggressive uh, weapon type it's just not in a good state to be used aggressively in comparison to a number of other weapons in the current meta uh, that can be used in that way but that's not to say that the weapon might not turn something around you know we've already seen from Bungie saying that they're gonna actually be improving weapons that rely on precision and this is a weapon that falls into that category hand cannons pulse rifles and I really think we're gonna be looking at not necessarily a massive uh, decrease in time to kill uh, but I honestly think we're going to be looking at more emphasis on crit shots uh, from our more precision related weapons so it's going to be uh, a lot easier to reach that 1.1 second or 1.05 second time to kill versus than what we're used to right now which is this fantastic lay the R2 trigger and let it work for you so overall I would get this gun guys whatever the case if you are a fan of 110 round per minute hand cannons this is one of the best and uh, on PVE it's really good especially with outlaw there um, you know again there's a lot of other options even in PVE that can out DPS it uh, but if you like to use hand cannons and this is uh, something that you want to pick up more and something that has a little more hit to it than what you get from something like a better devils outside of explosive rounds I would say steady hand is a great option for you fellas thank you so much for coming and watching this video I, I would definitely devote master course to somewhere else I think this is not a bad choice um, but in terms of season one weapons the next master work weapon I'm gonna be re reviewing is probably gonna be the Tom Warren Spire I just recently master worked that one as well and I definitely want to talk about that one because that was definitely one that was at the top of the list that I wanted to see what it would flex uh, in crucible with a masterwork version of itself guys thank you so much for coming and watching and as always
Slap that like button like your mama told you right. So let's get